the people who live at the top of the world know many important things. Mostly they know that, like the bears and the fishes and the whales, we're all part of a chain of life on which everything depends. Sometimes, nature leaves its orphans. They, like us, must learn to survive. That's difficult. Sometimes you can feel like you're alone in all the world. But other times you can find help in the most unexpected places. There once was an old woman who lived alone by the seashore. Although we all knew where she lived, the old woman built a signpost called an Inukshuk so that we could find her home easily. Because the old woman could look after herself in every way but one. She wasn't a hunter and depended on neighbors like us to bring her food. For this, she was always grateful. But when I say grateful, I mean it was sometimes hard to tell. Troublemakers! You go away! I don't bother you! You leave me alone! Children are worse than black flies. Worse than maggots. So it was you who knocked down my Anukshuk. Go away, foolish bear. Oh, back to your mother. Do you want to make her angry so she'll come here to eat me? Hmm, what's this? Hmm, lovely fish and the muckchuk. I hate muckchuk. <laughs>
Are you still here? Have you no place to go? Mm. Mm. Lovely fish. Mm. Mm. <laughs> ah! her visitor roasted seal blubber to eat and melted blubber to drink. He loved it. Caribou tents might be okay for the summer, but for the winter, you need something warmer. That was done quickly. You are very helpful. You must hide. <laughs> Old woman, I've come from our camp over the ridge. I'm to bring you back to winter with us. Not your idea, I think, Cormac. No, but don't waste my time, old woman. You can't take care of yourself. Thank the others, but I have everything I need. You'll get no food from us. How will you eat? I said I have everything I need. Quiet! I won't ask you again. I will stay in my home. Ah, suit yourself, you old fool. I'll pass by here in the spring and expect to find your bones. Ha! 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 I don't... Together. The Arctic night is long and cold, but inside the old woman's igloo, there was nothing but warmth. You see? A great wind. <laughs> Look out! Oh! Oh! <laughs> After games, there were always stories. remember how we met. Try again. That means it's spring again. <laughs> what is it? What do you see? Is it Comac? I know you. You're Tuck. What do you want? I... I brought you this. Oh. Then you are welcome. <laughs> So, what is 
this. This is the nuptial. He helped me through the winter. I told you I didn't need your help, so go away and take your little spy no, with you. No, I... But this bear is our rival. He'll grow and get big. He will hunt our food and we'll go hungry. Is that what you want? Not everyone is as greedy as you, Comac. But it's dangerous for you, huh? What if the cub's mother is near? She is near, and she's warning you not to harm him. The winter has driven you mad. You live alone, frighten people, and now you think you are a polar bear. Let us keep the cub. Ow! <clears throat> Keep the cub. It'll bring you nothing but bad luck. You'll be sorry for this. True to her word, the old woman cared for Inukshuk as though he were her own child. This is Taktu, Netzer, and Urkaluk. and Nanook, polar bear. <laughs> yes, you are clever, and that's important. It is also important not to boast. You must have respect for all things, for the land, for the wind and snow, but mostly for the animals that feed us. You don't want to grow up to be like Cormac, who cares for no one but himself. But that's enough for now. Time for game. <laughs> who lived with us. When they realized he was kind and gentle, they let him join in the games. <laughs> the old woman was very proud of her son. You have brought me so much. That was Inukshuk to me. This time you hide and I'll hunt you. like a wild bear. This is Inukshuk, my brother. You know him. Well, I didn't know him. I, I thought he... I thought it was a wild bear. You knew it was Inukshuk, and you wanted to kill him because <sighs> you're jealous. As long as this cub lives here with us, we'll always run the risk of another accident. So, I say we... Think of a way <gasps> to keep him safe? <laughs> Inukshuk, hold still. Now... Cormac can't say he doesn't know you. And when you meet people, you must treat them like you treat us. You must never give anyone an excuse to harm you. Do you promise? You are a good son. Now go on with you both.
Hunting takes great patience. See this hole? It's called an aglu. Now watch it closely. Not for 10 seconds. Not for two minutes. But for three hours. Look up or scratch your nose, because if you do, you'll have missed it. We weren't great hunters yet. We had lots to learn, and learn we did, especially in Ushuk. Soon, he was stronger than the strongest hunter. It was the best of times, and we were very happy. What is it? Let's go home. Tomorrow, we'll go hunting together. It'll be great. I'll bring my new harpoons. No one dares to go out when the winds blow like this. For to venture out in such weather would be foolish. We were all safe inside. But where was Inukshuk? Someone tell a story. So we might not worry so much. I have a story. It's about a cruel trickster who makes promises, but whose natural instinct is to wonder and feed himself. Who brings bad luck and terrible storms to swallow up anyone foolish enough to believe him. I'm talking about Inukshuk. Huh? You're wrong. Ah. I know you are. <laughs> this is what you get for befriending a bear. No, wait! The old woman could no longer listen to Komak's lies. Even though it was dangerous, she knew she had to find her son. We knew the old woman could not survive outside for very long, but the storm was still too fierce for us to go look for her. about this bear. Inukshuk and I will bring the old woman back. What have you got me into? You and that old fool! Did you hear that bear? <laughs> Is that you, Bear? Look, oh. Shook, where are you? I always knew you were a clever spirit. But not too clever for me. That old woman is worthless, but your white hide is a prize I have long waited for. I may even find a use for that stupid collar. Not be saved by you, bear. <laughs> you won't fight me. 
All because of a promise to a foolish old woman. It's not safe for you here anymore. We know Inukshuk could never harm anyone, but people who don't know him will believe that he killed Komak. They'll believe terrible things about him, and they will want to hurt him. You must hide from us until we can all learn to be as good as you, my sweet little bear. always know you. And so others will know not to hunt the bear with the black marks. And you know who I found knocked over my inuksha. After that time, the old woman no longer lived alone. She spent many happy nights remembering her son Inukshu. And now I am telling the story, telling it to you, so that you might understand a little more about our world and pass it on in your own way. Now, stay tuned for a magical celebration, but bear in mind it's a secret. Or is it? Will the party end when the word gets out? Or can the teddies grin and bear it? The Teddy Bears Picnic, another great special you can't bear to miss, next on CTV.